Hello and welcome back to CJG Gaming. Now today is an updated tutorial on how to use a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 controller for Minecraft. Now it's it's um, updated from my old tutorial. Basically this is exactly how to do it if you follow these instructions right. I guarantee you it should work unless you do it wrong. Uh, it works with Windows 8 as you can see I'm running it. Uh, today I'm having to record with Cam State. Uh, Camtasia, I think. I don't know. I don't really like it that much. Uh, mostly because Fraps has no desktop support on Windows 8. It's really strange. Uh, anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to www.motionenjoy.com forward slash download. The link is in the description. And you're going to want to download the second or the version 6.0005. Uh, the reason why I prefer this version is the interface is a little bit easier to use um, compared to these new two ones, uh, these other ones, and also they're still in testing. Uh, Motion Enjoy is basically a Chinese company's software that allows you to emulate your PS3 controller as an Xbox controller. Uh, this is only if you are using a PlayStation controller. Now, if you have 64-bit uh, Windows, you're going to want to download 64-bit. 32-bit, you're going to want to download 64-bit. Download takes really quick, it's about 10-20 seconds depending on how fast your connection is. I've already downloaded it, when you download it you should get this motion enjoy um, dot zip folder. I'm using WinRAR, it's just easier to use. Uh, if you double click on the installer, what it will do is it will install the software, you can exit the zip. I'm going to install it under my um, D disk drive, it's my uh, HDD because it's. I don't really need it on my SSD. Uh, for space reasons. Just click install. I'm going to have a desktop icon just for the, like, the convenience of this tutorial. And then at the end of it you don't need to run it because you need to actually run it as an administrator. It will open up Chrome. You don't need that window. That's pointless. Uh, so then what you're going to want to do is right click the icon um, and click run as administrator. If you're in Windows 7 it might pop up under your, pop up under your start uh, to their menu. If you're on Windows 8 you can always just type in uh, DS, DS3 tool, right click it and then click run as administrator which is what I will do now. When you're inside here you're going to want to plug in your PS3 controller, I've already got it connected. Uh, you're going to want to go to driver manager and tick that box, click install. If you haven't clicked run as administrator it will come up with a weird window before you go into this driver manager screen and it most likely will not work. I'm not guarantee it won't work but it shouldn't work. Then what you're going to want to do after this is said it's completed, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that, it says success. Then just tick that box and click load driver. You'll hear a noise depending on which windows you're, you're using and it will say completed again. Then go to profiles and just tick the Xbox 360 controller emulator box. And then to test it, there are many ways you can test it. You can firstly just click enable. Then vibration, you should be able to hear this vibrate on my desk. There we go. Uh, if you don't have vibration in your controller, click custom on your lights. Click 2 and 4 for example. And your lights should change to 2 and 4. Mine have. Uh, if I click enable again. And the third way is go to game controller. Uh, that's for my iPod Touch, and then click to Properties, and if I press the buttons, you can see them lighting up here. That just shows that the controller's working fine. So you can just click OK, and that is how you set up your PS3 controller. If you have an Xbox controller, you're actually going to have to, you don't need to download the first piece of software, you just need to go to the second link in description, that is Mind Control. Mind Control is a Java app, you don't need to install it, all you need to do is have Minecraft and have an Xbox 360 controller, uh, or uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, I need to quickly add, if you have an Xbox 360 controller, it has to be a wired one. It can't be the wireless one with the charge cable because that does not work. Uh, if you have the wireless one, you need the wireless receiver, um, which actually this thinks it's popping up if you use a PlayStation controller. Anyway, you need to click uh, Launch Mind Control. You just click that. All that will do is download it. I've already got it downloaded. And that will download this file. I've got it on desktop. If you click it, it opens up Java 7 and depending how fast your computer is, it will load it up and uh, mine's relatively fast so it does it quite quickly. Uh, you can change what your receiver is here but I recommend as long as you've got it set up right it should go to Xbox 360 wireless receiver. If not, it will not work. Go to button mapping, you can change all your button maps uh, but apart from that they should all be fine because I've already done it before. Change it to whatever you like. Um, 
I'm going to actually, I've accidentally changed that quickly. I'm going to have that as um, the right shoulder button uh, is actually, I want that to be scroll, don't I? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> scroll up, yeah. So if I click done, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to Fraps and show you how it works in Minecraft. All right, so once you're inside Minecraft, you will be, well, it should fully work. Uh, it works on the desktop uh, sometimes. I don't always, I can't confirm that. Um, if you use your, or oh, by default, your right analog stick will be the mouse. Uh, then your right shoulder thingy will be the click. You can just go into that. I'm going to load up my LP world. Uh, here it is. And as you can see, it works. It's The sprint doesn't work extremely well. Uh, I can. It's sort of hard to do. Uh, the movements are a little bit jittery, so unless you don't mind that, uh, it's not quite as smooth as the Xbox edition. Uh, to... When you shift, uh, as if, if you're shifting, you're sprinting, it actually holds it down, uh, So, which is sort of good, instead of just constantly having to hold it down. Um, but it still works, it's just not as smooth as you'd probably want it to be. Um, but just for a novelty, it's quite cool. Um, of course, don't forget to subscribe to see my latest videos when they come out. I will probably do updates of this, as it seems to be a very popular video on my channel. Uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more updates I've seen Many people, um, just had a creeper, I'm scared. Um, but I've heard many people uh, that have had problems and as long as you follow the instructions, this should work. Uh, if not, feel free to comment below and tell me why it's not working. Um, and anyway, I will see you later. Goodbye.